What are you doing? No, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Hey guys and welcome back. So today if you're gonna be watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 5 episode 15. This next episode is called I was made to love you and I kind of love it. Like I wonder if we're gonna follow up with the whole Spike situation from the previous episode. Like now finally everybody knows that Spike is in love with Buffy and you know that resulted in a lot of craziness. So I'm wondering if maybe we're gonna continue with that, like Mr. Spike not being able to take no for an answer. Is he gonna still bother Buffy in this one? Like, is he gonna be like, but Buffy, I was made to love you or something like that. So yeah, I'm very interested to see. Like, I kinda like this storyline. Like, it's very creepy if you really think about it. Like, a man obsessed with you and not leaving you alone even you even though you tell them no. Definitely terrifying, but we like Spike. Spike's a great character, we'll overlook it. But yeah, I'm really curious how this is all gonna go. Like in the previous episode, I was talking about like, I don't know if Spike can really love without a soul, but I do think he thinks he loves Buffy and maybe it is love, but honestly, from Buffy's perspective, would you ever wanna be loved by someone or would you wanna have someone as a partner who doesn't have a soul like sure he loves her but he can never love her selflessly or the kind of love that you would want your partner to feel for you like you would want your partner to put you first to be selfless and i just don't think you can be those things if you don't have a soul so as much as spike loves buffy and tries to do the right thing for her the only reason he's doing the right things is because of her not because he wants to be a good guy right like he wants to be a good guy for her and i don't mm, i don't know to me that it's not really working like i think you should want to change for you of course someone can inspire you to change or to be better and you want to be better for them but ultimately it also has to be for you it can't just be for the other person like you have to want to be a good person because that's what you think, like that's what you believe, like you believe that the way you should live life is in a way where you are a good person. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't want to just do that for someone else. So I think that's where this relationship kind of falls apart, like not that there's a relationship, but if there were, I don't think it could ever work because Spike doesn't have a soul. Like I'm intrigued by this and I'm curious to see how far they're going to take it, especially from Spike's perspective like I don't think Buffy would ever reciprocate his feelings for him I just can't see Buffy do that but I don't know maybe maybe one day who knows but as it stands like I am intrigued by them I see the vision of them being together but if I'm being realistic it would never actually work between them but yeah I'm also very excited because apparently we're getting a little bit of a mini arc again because the next episodes I'm gonna be watching are gonna be three Buffy episodes. So the last time we had that, we had the Joyce arc. Jesus Christ, like thank God we survived that. Like thank God Joyce survived that because that was so stressful. So I hope this arc is gonna be a lot more chill, a lot more fun. Like I'm hoping we can do a glory and band stuff because I think that's so interesting and we haven't really done anything with them in the previous episode and we are episode 15 so we are getting close to the finale so I don't know maybe some crazy stuff is gonna go down with the three of them and three of them I mean I guess Buffy could be the third but I was mostly thinking about um glory and Ben. like I'm so so excited like I hope we get some stuff with them in this little mini arc I just like maybe figure out about Ben and then maybe try and hatch a plan like how we could take him down and then maybe that would lead to taking Glory down. I don't know, I'm just very very excited because I think this is gonna be amazing and I also just love watching so many Buffy episodes one after the other. It's so reminiscent of the old days when there was only just the show Buffy so yeah I'm very very excited. But yeah if you guys are interested you can watch the full reaction to this up on my Patreon, the link is in the description down below. And let's just jump straight into it. Spike! <laughs> Spike wants me! How obscene is that? Well, it is very strange. I, mean, I can't imagine what he's thinking. Well, uh, not, not, not that you're not gonna uh, try. Giles! Giles! Just stop talking, I think. Can't be responsible for what Spike thinks or feels. But well, aren't I True. responsible? I mean, something about me had to make him feel that, right? I mean, to be fair, you're very lovable, Buffy. <laughs> oh, she's so angry. Me too. 
I'm sorry, there's... Xander, oh, Xander is in there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I thought it was a boxing bag. I'm alive. I can tell because of the pain. <gasps> Sweetie! Do you want to sit down? That's my secret to attracting men. You know, it, it's simple, really. You slap them around a bit, you torture them, you make their lives a living. Th that is for play for vampires, so... I just want to know that there's going to be another good one. One that I won't chase away. Oh, sweetie, you're there 20. There are gonna be plenty. Honest. Men like that, right? The, the joke laughing at? Or maybe you can just be Buffy. He'll see your amazing heart and he'll fall in love with you. Exactly. Oh, oh I love their friendship so much. This is the day you choose to hug me. <laughs> but he can't hug her back. What are you looking for in Sunnydale anyway? True love. Oh! Uh, good luck. Is she gonna find true love in Buffy? You know what? I think Buffy hasn't considered all her options just yet. But yeah, I wonder, like, to Buffy talking so much about love, if maybe Ben is gonna show up and then she's gonna get heartbroken again when she finds out that he's also Glory. That could be something. I might oh, like it more than Joyce! Than Looking great, my love. Ooh, I'm not sure. Once more. Now they're just trying to get her to be dizzy. You were messing with me. <laughs> We just wanted mm -hmm. to see how many times we could get you to do it. Was that five or four and a half? <laughs> so is anyone going to talk about my dress? It's very pretty. What time is it? 4.23. Is she going on a date? Of time until seven. Vast acres of time in which you could plant crops. Oh, she's so nervous. Maybe he's a gigolo. Was his shirt all shiny? No. Is he a robot? So well, you're going to that spring break party tonight. Maybe you'll find someone there. <gasps> okay, exciting. Or maybe Brian has a son and mom and I can go on some unspeakably awkward double dates. That is disturbing. No, thank you. What is this gossip girl? Buying something very expensive. Maybe an antelope. Hi. An antelope? Oh, oh, it's a little girl looking for Hi. true love. Alrighty, no harm in asking. Thanks. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. <gasps> ben is here. Ah! I'm so excited. Yay. Oh, sweetie. Honestly, I think Buffy needs an arranged marriage. Like, I'm against them, but genuinely, her pick in men is the worst. It sounded so funny in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't watch it's this. Very, I can't watch this. Funny. Let me just dump this. I'll be right back. Oh, is he not coming back? Is he gonna turn into glory and then just leave? And she's gonna think he stood her up? You're gonna see me. She uh, who? What's up, boy? It doesn't matter. Come on. Why is he running from her? She's so sweet. And he's looking for me. He lost me. Oh. Somehow, I don't think a girl that looks like that's gonna be lonely for too long. Definitely not. <gasps> well, not me. I, I was just saying that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. so funny. Oh my god, he's here. Hey, Spike. Do you want me to leave? You can put your hands on my hot, tight little body and make me. <laughs> Should I um offer to get inappropriately violent or something? No. <laughs> Why I like him so much? Come on, this is so unfair. Oh. Hey! 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 That would be wrong! You are not my boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs> um, is that a slayer? Did Faith die in prison? What's going on? Bloody hell! <laughs> you threw me through a window! She really did. I'm on her side. I think you need to take a second and stop looking for your boyfriend. I have to find him. And I hope that your boyfriend will take good care of you. She doesn't have one. Why would you rub it in right now? Also, she heard Buffy not on her side anymore. I kind of got the impression that she was a robot. Oh yeah, robot. Definitely. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I was gonna say robot. How did y'all get an impression? Wants. I did not get an impression. Oh, Giles and Donnie? I bet they ended up having a blast. Dear God, Buffy, there's only so much I can take. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to my mom talk about boys. Giles right. is like, actually, I'm very busy. Bye, Giles. <laughs> Bye, Rupert. He could not have run out of there faster. Gosh, I'd forgotten how much fun dating can be. Oh, I don't let's know. go. I left my bra on his car. Oh. Mother! She's just joking, joking, right? <laughs> that was a good one. I left it in the restaurant. <laughs> no more! No more! No. <laughs> okay, then. Bye. What a cute little robot. Definitely better than Ted. She's a sex bot. I mean, what guy doesn't dream about that? beautiful girl with no other thought but to please you <laughs> too many girls I miss Oz he'd get it he wouldn't say anything but <clears throat> he'd get it why would anyone do that like, guys if he couldn't find that I guess it's kind of sad y'all need to stop talking y'all need to stop talking 
Poor Buffy. She's gonna internalize that. And now she's gonna call Glory Ben. Like, great. Coffee would be great. Tomorrow night. Oh, fine. <laughs> You look good, don't worry about it. Works on you as well, not just on Glory. It's fine, we can buy new stuff. Now let's just go. Is she gonna be on the other side of the door? Oh, it's Buffy. Trina, please be quiet, okay? This is important. Wait in the kitchen. And I'm not important? Warren, that's why you don't have a girlfriend. That's why you had to build one. Like, how are you acting? Trina, shut up. That's it. Forget it, Warren. I'm gone. No, Katrina. Good for uh, you, Katrina. Have some self-respect. She's a robot. <gasps> no. Uh-huh. Finished Coming through. Coming through. Hey Spike, trying not to burn the shop down. Someone's glad to see me, aren't you, little bit? Stay away from me. I oh. think you better go. Okay, now, let's go, Don. Get rid of Drew, who's up to no good. And I don't Spike, mind telling. Listen to Look, me. It's just like I express some kind of. Hey, Reaper. There is no way to Buffy. I love it. I love it. I love Scary Giles. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Move the hell on. That is so pretty. I made her to love me. I mean, she mm -hmm. cares. I made a girlfriend. A girlfriend? Uh -huh. oh, went out and uh, didn't come back. I left her. I left her in my dorm room. What a fucking asshole. Hate this guy. She's looking for me, so my guess is she's probably pretty close. Oh, uh oh, Katrina, uh oh. Warren is my boyfriend, mine. Oh, let go. I mean, that's her go. fault. Why would you want to be the girlfriend of that guy? Say that he's my boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, say it, say it. No, 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 don't say that. Say that she's, he's her boyfriend. If you call her and she doesn't answer, it hurts her. You're one creepy little dweeb, Warren. Yeah, hey, bro, definitely. Where have you been? Is she alive? Lying to me and then she went to sleep. For forever? Or just a little while? Shall she go now? She's alive. Thank God. Did I do something wrong? I waited a long time and you never came back. Why is this so heartbreaking? You can't make mistakes. Uh, no, but I did. I th I oh. I made you oh my goodness. Okay. But it wasn't what I really, really wanted. Really smart, handsome, best lover, snappy dresser, good dancer. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, this man. I don't love you. I love her. Ah. <laughs> Warren, there's a combat mode. And he just sent it over to Buffy like, I hate this guy so much. God damn it. Can April kill him, please? Oh. What's oh. No, no, Trina. Not her little circuit. Ah, ah jeez. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, Buffy. It wasn't just for sex. Is that... Is that your ex-girlfriend? <laughs> no, get that I mean, technically. No. Yes, Katrina, yes! Go, girl! I can't crush. Why? So tired. Oh, is the battery running out finally? What's happening to me? Oh, why did I feel so bad for her? She's just a robot! Sometimes I feel better when I cry. But there might be rest issues. Crying is blackmail. Good girlfriends don't cry. Oh. Every time I heard some learned more, really something new about everything. Warren, I want to kill him. It's getting dark. So early to be dark. Uh huh. He'll tell you how sorry he is. Oh, Buffy. You know, he, she's so compassionate. I love her. He didn't mean to hurt you. I love Buffy so much. She's like the fact that she cares so much about a robot. Again. I just love her. Darkest. Before the dawn. Before. Why am I actually about to cry for this little robot girl? I loved her. Why is this actually so fucking sad? And just the fact that it kind of relates to Buffy. I'm sure this is how she feels as well. Where she feels like she's been the best girlfriend and then all the boyfriends always leave. So like, she must be the problem, right? I don't need a guy right now. I need me. I need to get comfortable being alone with Buffy. I love well, that so much. This. Yes, Buffy. She's a pretty cool person to be alone with. Thank you. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Like, I'm so glad that's the realization she came to. Oh, is she gonna cancel on Ben? Kinda hope that would go somewhere so that she could figure out about him, but that's fine. I hope this is your machine. There there wasn't a message. Anyway, um... Is it gonna be Glory who's gonna end up listening to this? Uh, is it Glory? Um, um, that's Glory! No, 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 no. He is planning something. He's working against me. Yeah. She turned us down? 
<laughs> Does Ben know that Buffy is the Slayer? By the way, I don't. He, yeah, he must. He must. No, no, listen, listen. I'll do anything. Just no, no, don't hang up. Boo hoo, boo fucking hoo. Hope you die on all your piece of shit. Oh no, no, I'm not making any more girls. Sure you are. Tears your specs. I'm about to fucking throw up. Spike, I was on your side. What are you doing? Oh, so gross. Ooh, did she get that from Ryan? Oh, Brian. Still a couple of guys getting that right. Oh, I'm so happy for Joyce. What are you doing? Mom? Oh. Mom? Mommy? She's not that right? No, bitch. What? No. No, you didn't. They didn't kill her. They didn't kill her off after... Like, we had this last time. Like, if you were gonna give a fake out, oh, she's fine. You kill her in that episode. You don't kill her five episodes later. She's not that, right? She's not... She's not that. This... This isn't happen... This... I, no. No, I'm gonna stop crying because she's fine. Because she's not dead. She can't be dead. How could she be dead? She was fine. She was fine. She's been fine for weeks. She's not dead. The surgery worked. They said it worked. Is, is that it? Did it go bad again? Did something kill her? I just, what happened? She's not dead. No, I absolutely refuse to believe this. Like, this is not fucking happening. That's bullshit. It's illegal. It's illegal for them to do this. Like, if they were gonna kill Joyce, they had their chance. You can't just be like, she's fine, and then have her die like four episodes later. Like, that is not how this works. It's not allowed. It's not fucking allowed. Like, I, I don't care. I don't care. She's fine. Like, she, she's asleep. It's fine. Like, her eyes are open. Maybe she's looking at some... <laughs> she's not dead. She isn't dead. I'm telling you, you're wrong. Like, you're wrong, she's not dead. You know what, in the previous fucking Angel episode, Kay was brought back to life by some water splashed on her face. So like, if we give Joyce some CPR, she should be fine. Like, that's way better than fucking water. And water worked, so like, CPR is gonna work. Like, this is... No. No. She's fine. She, she can't be dead. This is not how this works. This is not how TV works. It's illegal. I told you this. It's fucking illegal. You can't do this. Like, that's not... It's not fair. She, she was so happy she had a boyfriend. Or, or she's not dead. Like this, this, this was such a cutesy episode. And then I just, you just don't end it like this. She isn't dead. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm so sure. That's why I'm crying because I'm sure she's alive. Like they, Please, please tell me she's okay. I don't want this. I want to watch her die. I, I like kind of prepared myself for her to die during the whole surgery stuff. I was happy she lived and I just, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. Like just out of nowhere she can die. It's not fair. This sucks. I don't... I don't want to watch this anymore. I don't want to watch the next episode. Unless she's alive. Okay, you know, yeah, I definitely... I want to watch the next episode because she's going to be fine in there. Like, for sure. Oh my god. She's going to be for sure fine. Because why wouldn't she be fine? You know? They said she's okay. So she's okay. She's just having a nap. And she just forgot to close her eyes. It's fine. It happens to the best of us. I... I don't even think I can talk about the episode anymore. I have thoughts. I have thoughts about the whole parallels with April and Buffy. And then just how proud I was of Buffy for saying that she's gonna spend time with herself. And, you know, 
not need a man. Like, I was just so proud. I was gonna talk about that. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. No, fuck this. I don't, I don't wanna talk about anything anymore. I wanna go ho- home. I'm home, but I wanna go home and cry. I just, she's not dead. I know she's not. She's fine. She has to be. She's joyous. What is, oh my god, what is Buffy supposed to do if she dies? She's gonna have to take care of Dawn. I, oh my god, like, is the dad gonna come back? Is he gonna get off his fucking ass from Spain while he's screwing his secretary? Is he gonna come back? Are we gonna have Buffy's dad for the rest of the show? Or, or what's gonna happen? Is Buffy gonna have to be Dawn's mom? Or, jeez, what if... Oh my god, I'm, I'm literally... You know what? This show fucking hurts so much. So what if Dawn actually ends up dying at the end of the season? Like, this was... Dawn was just for this one season because this is her season. Her being the key. Glory is after her. Like, at some point, she's going to figure out that Dawn is the key. So, like... Yeah, because Ben knows. So, like, maybe Ben will fuck up and somehow mention it to the little minion guy or something and then glory finds out so like when that happens and what if they kill dawn and then buffy will truly have fucking no one for next season i I wanna i don't wanna i honestly don't wanna watch this anymore this hurts too much this hurts worse than when jenny died and that was really bad that was really really painful as well but this this is a lot like, how? What? <sighs> she isn't dead. She's simply not dead. Because that would be too fucked up. Like, that's one step too far. I'm willing to accept a lot on this show. A lot of heartache. But that's too far. Joyce dying from her tumor. Like, is that? But, like, I thought they cut it out. So, like, how could that kill her? It shouldn't. So, like, did, she, did did something kill her? But she seemed physically fine. Like, there was no blood or anything. I mean, that literally is, like, seared into my memory. Like, if I close my eyes, I can see that shot. And that shot was so quick. That was such a quick shot. And if I just close my eyes, I just see her lying there with her eyes open. I just... Mm, I'm so sad. I'm actually so fucking sad. Is she... F- she's gonna be fine like we can do cpr like hey buffy died she came back kate died she came back what makes choice any different she's not different that that, that's that's fine like she is coming back okay did you guys hear me like are you guys getting this right she's coming back that's it nothing else nothing else matters but joy's coming back to life I just, I got nothing. I, 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 I got nothing. I have nothing else to give. She's fine. I know she is. She has to be. It's not, it's, they can't kill her. Like, we'll get, but would we get another, that doesn't even make fucking sense if we get another scare. Like, from a storytelling perspective, it's just stupid. Because we've been through this, so she, she has to be dead. But she can't be dead. That's the thing, like, from a storytelling perspective, she has to be dead because we've been through this. Like, they're not going to rehash the same storyline four episodes later. So, she's dead. But we all know that she isn't dead. So, like, this doesn't make sense. Oh, maybe they're just bad writers. Yeah, let's go with that. Like, mm, it's bad writing because they're just going to do the same storyline now. It's fine. I'll forgive it. I was so happy. I was actually so happy this episode. Like, I love the Joy stuff. Like, we got to see more of her. She was getting out there after her surgery. I was so proud of her. It was all fun and games. And she had such a good... She was joking around. We didn't even... They just kill her off, off screen. I mean, I just... Like, I, everything was good. Buffy was starting to, you know, move on from Riley and her heartbreaks. And she was gonna deal with stuff and just be on her own it just and i come on come the fuck on don't do this please don't do this you can't do this this is unfair okay um i think i'm gonna go cry myself to sleep and watch the next episode never yeah because this way she for sure lives you know because if i don't watch it 
She can't be dead. It's Schrodinger's episode. She's both dead and alive at the same time. And as long as I don't watch that, she's alive in my mind. So yeah, bye guys forever because I am, I just, can I skip the episode? No, that doesn't work because then I would also know if she lived or died. I just, I don't want to. I really, truly don't want to. I, yeah, um, I'm gonna go because this review is really pointless because I'm just saying I don't want to and this can't be real like 20 times already. Like if you wanted to make this into a drinking game, you'd be dead from alcohol poisoning because those are the things I've said 27 times already at least. So this isn't very interesting. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna go and think about life. Think about the choices that led me here. Gonna invent time travel and kick myself in the butt. The version of me who decided like, hmm, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Sounds like a fun show. It could be interesting. You know, she's just slaying some vampires. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah. Gonna kill that version of me because she was a fucking dumbass. Like, we hate her. We all hate her. Like, let's bully that version of me because she's a fucking idiot. And she got me into this mess, so... Ultimately, I hate her. She sucks. And yeah, once I do that, none of this happened, you know? Like, let's hopefully this is... Do I make a paradox? Because if I kill that version of me, I don't exist. It's fine. I don't need to exist. Not like Joyce is alive, so like, why should I be alive? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I think she's fine. She's fine. But I will not be putting makeup on me in my next video. Because I don't trust it. This time, no happy sunshine shirt. No makeup. Because, I mean, I already had to take off my mascara. <laughs> because it burns my eyes. Like, if, if it comes in contact with tears, it burns my eyes. So I already took my mascara off. I'm going to take the rest of my makeup off. Curl up into bed. You know, with my puppy. And then she's going to make it all better. No, she won't. She's a menace. <laughs> she does not know how to chill. She's super fucking active. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna go. I said that already. You know what? I have to, should I just turn this off? Like, without anything? I just, like, I just keep repeating myself. Like, I'm so sorry. This is so nothing. This is literally nothing. This is what the definition of nothing is. Like, my lips are moving. Sound is coming out of my mouth. But it literally amounts to nothing. It's just noise at this point like you can fall asleep to this it's like white noise um yeah so i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys never i think because that if i see you again that means i watch the next episode and if i watch the next episode then i'm stupid because who would want to do that to themselves i don't i love buffy so much like she's one of my all-time favorite characters and she's never fucking happy. Like, you know, that's like the funniest thing. That she was kind of happy in this one. Like, at the end, like, it started out as unhappy. Like, she was angry about Spike being in love with her. And then she got so... Um, what is that word? That, not desperate. Um, despair. Like, despair. Like, she felt despair about her love life. And then she didn't think she could find someone. And then when everybody was talking about Warren... And they were like, oh, well, it's kind of sad that he can't find anyone. And then, you know, like, he must not be a good guy for, you know, not finding any girlfriend. And he had to build one. And Buffy was just sitting there, like, super overwhelmed. And was just, like, internalizing everything they were saying. Like, you could see that she was thinking those things about herself. Like, that she must be the issue. Like, that she cannot keep a boyfriend. Not only that, but the boyfriends run away into a new city country so like that must be a lot for her to deal with and then you know just like her little talk with april you could see that she was finally starting to you know change her mind and she was starting to be happy again like we finally got over riley we got out of that riley sadness and now we're falling into this hole like truly she cannot be happy for five minutes like not even five minutes like uh, why? Just let her be fucking happy. I just, I've been begging for this since season one. Let Buffy be happy. 
2022. Like, why can't she be happy? She was gonna be fine. I was gonna talk about it. I was. It was gonna be a grand old time. And now, Joyce is dead currently, but will be brought back to life. So it's all good. Um, but even then, like, still, I don't want to watch Buffy, you know, have to resuscitate her mom. That's still going to be very sad. So, yeah, I just, I hate seeing her sad. She's never happy. <sighs> the one time she's happy, it literally gets ruined, like, five minutes later. Like, honestly, I should have known better. I should know this show by now. Um, whenever Buffy's happy, you run. You run the opposite way. Because something tragic is just around the corner, like... Buffy really needs to stop being happy. Like, she needs to just accept misery and then hopefully it's gonna be, like, plateaued. Like, her misery is gonna be in one line and she can never go below that. But if she ever goes up, then she's gonna fall super hard down. Like, just levels of hell. Like, that's how far she's falling. So, that's great. I don't want to watch her mourn her mom. Like, genuinely, that's gonna fucking break me. So, that's not what's gonna happen. Because why would the show want to break me on purpose? That seems rude, like, you would just alienate your audience. Like, if you literally cause them to die of heartbreak, who's gonna watch your show? No one. So, Joyce is alive, for sure. Oh yeah, and whatever, Spike is making a Buffy robot, like, that's fucking creepy, dude. Like, this man, Spike, honestly, I feel so up and down with him because I want to root for him and I do like him. And I kind, I mean, part of me does love this movie because it's so fucking creepy. I kind of love it, like, how... Spike really was like, hmm, what else could I do? Oh, I know. Let me fucking make a Buffy robot that loves me. It's just so funny to me. Is he gonna end up the same way Warren, where it's like, well, this robot just loves me and doesn't fight with me, so it's broken. I don't like it. Like, what I love about Buffy is her feistiness and her fighting and all of that, so that's gonna be interesting. But yeah, who knows when that's happening? Probably not for a while. Well, I mean, next episode, like, we can have that next episode because Joyce is alive, so, like, there's no reason for us to be sad or to focus on the Buffy family a lot, so we can focus a lot on Spike. Like, I think maybe it's gonna be Spike show in the next episode, like, for sure. It's just gonna be Spike, 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 nothing else. So, yeah, anyway, awful episode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, thank you to my, you know what? Not, no, thank you to my Patreons. This is your fault. You're enabling me. Absolutely your fucking fault. Like, how dare you? Stop supporting me. Get out of my Patreon, and then I don't have to watch this show anymore, because then I don't feel like, you know, I can just give it up. Like, it's fine. Like, I don't need to know how it ends. Like, it's fine. It's not like it's one of my favorite shows, and I'm always dying to watch the next episode. Like, you know, I think that died as well. I think my love for this show died the moment Joyce died. So I want to watch this for myself. So if you guys are not here anymore, I don't know. Maybe I can just stop, and Joyce lives in my hand forever it's fine but yeah anyway thank you i guess you guys are nice whatever just so generous and kind and definitely aren't sitting like this at home where it's like oh, next episode is gonna be episode 15 we get to see her reaction to the choice reveal like oh let's commemorate in misery together yeah definitely none of you are doing that for sure no one's like oh i can't wait for her to get to that episode i'm just kidding around you know I do very much so appreciate you all. You guys are very kind, very generous. I'm just a sad bitch. That's who I am. So yeah, thanks for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yay. So excited. Woohoo. Bye.